All right, today I'm gonna to make Cajun shrimp corn chowder. It's just delicious. So let's get started on Darlene's table. I'm going to start by cooking this eight slices of bacon that I've chopped and I'm gonna cook it until crisp. And this is a seven quart stock pot. In the meantime, I'm gonna add all the Cajun seasoning to the shrimp and toss it. All right, that bacon is ready to remove to my paper lined plate. We're going to leave the bacon drippings in the pot to saute our vegetables along with some additional butter. So we'll put in four tablespoons out of the six tablespoons of butter. And we're going to saute the shrimp lightly. We do not want to cook them all the way through. Just saute them lightly, make them turn a little pink, see? Remove them to a plate, not paper towel line. We want to use all those juices later. So now we're going to saute the onion, red bell pepper, celery, and garlic. I'm going to put in the two remaining tablespoons of butter and saute this until the onions begin to soften. All right, now I'm adding half a cup of flour. We're gonna stir this, allow the flour to cook, some salt and pepper. That looks good. We cooked this for a minute or two just to get that flour cooked. And now I'm going to add the diced potatoes and two cups of the chicken broth. Now, I added a cup later, so you could go ahead and do it now, or you can wait and see if it needs to be thinned out for you. And then I added four cups of half and half. Now I'm going to taste this just for the salt and pepper. And I think it needs more of salt and pepper. And cook it until the potatoes are done. Just at a simmer. Don't boil it. Now I'm adding the shrimp and all those juices back into the pot. And the four cups of corn. This is fresh corn that I removed from the cob and froze last week. You can use frozen corn. I wouldn't use canned corn. Now we'll taste it again for seasoning. More salt and pepper. All right, we'll let that all come back up to a temperature since we added the cold shrimp and the cool down shrimp and the corn. And then it'll be ready to serve. Look at that. Doesn't that look luscious? Lots of shrimp. That's two pounds of peeled shrimp. So it'll take you about four pounds of shrimp with heads on to get that. I topped it with the crisp bacon and fresh basil for serving, or you could use green onion or chives. You know the Cajuns know how to cook seafood a hundred different ways. Well, here's another. With two pounds of shrimp, there's a shrimp in every bite, cooked in a creamy corn chowder with potatoes. I'm telling you, a bowl of this will warm you from the inside out. Seafood and spice are staples in Cajun cuisine, and this recipe blends beautifully into a creamy chowder. Unless you are feeding an army, there should be enough to freeze for another meal later. You will need to add a small amount of half and half when reheating because the milk will separate when frozen. So, you can find this recipe on my website, darlingstable.com. 
and the link to the printable recipe will be in the video description. As you watch this, I'm probably in my kitchen working on the next project, so come back and see what's cooking on Darlene's Table.